Hello friends, once again, welcome to Tech with us. Friends, in the software testing world, there are many terminologies which gets easily misunderstood. For example, sometimes when I ask types of testing during interviews, I often get the response like unit testing, integration testing, system and acceptance testing, which is not a correct answer. These are the testing levels and all comes under functional testing category. In this video, let's try to discuss various types of testing in detail. So let's start. The first type of testing is functional testing. Functional testing evaluates the functions or use cases that the system or software should perform. This functions or use cases explains what the system or software should do. And can you guess where these functions will be defined? They could be described in multiple work products in the form of functional requirements or specifications. These work products are like functional specification documents, business requirement specification, use case document or in form of user stories. There is also a possibility that the few functional requirements are not documented at all. Most of the time, functional testing is performed through various techniques available under black box testing. I will make a separate video on black box testing and its various techniques. And the test coverage is defined by functional coverage. It is recommended and a good practice to have at least one test case for each functional requirement. We have seen this image in our last video also. Integration testing, system testing and acceptance testing comes under functional testing. Next type of testing we have is non-functional testing. As we have already seen, Functional testing evaluates what the system should perform. Non-functional testing is to evaluate how well the system behaves or works. Sometimes people get confused that at what level of software development life cycle non-functional testing should be performed. Most of them thinks that it should be performed during acceptance testing. But that's not true. It can be performed at all test levels. Through non-functional testing, various characteristics of system or software can be evaluated such as usability, performance, efficiency, security, compatibility and many more. The coverage can be defined with non-functional coverage. Both functional and non-functional testing can be performed manually or through automation. Let's move to another type of testing structural based testing or largely known as white box testing which is used to evaluate system internal structure or implementation. Internal structure may include source code, system architecture, workflow or data flow. And the base to write test cases could be source code, system architecture document, low level and high level design document and database. Structural testing is performed with the help of unit testing or by performing review activity for various work products like code, design or documents or by doing static analysis with the help of some tool. The test coverage is measured by structural coverage and if the work product is code, it can be measured through code coverage. The last type of testing is called as change related testing. As the name suggests, change related testing is needed whenever there is a change made in the software because of a bug fix or due to the new function added to the system. To evaluate, there is no side effect of the changes. We can further categorize it into two categories, confirmation testing and regression testing. The goal of the confirmation testing is to evaluate whether the original defect has been successfully fixed or not. And regression testing is to check is there any side effect of the changes in the other part of the software. 
Regression testing is more common type of testing and can be performed in all test levels. Mostly for the larger system, it is also possible to automate regression testing. Okay, so in summary, I have listed all types of testing and their subcategories in a single slide. You can take the screenshot for your future reference. So friends, here we come to end of this video. Please share your feedback on this video. I frequently make such informative video. So don't forget to subscribe my channel for all upcoming updates. Thanks for watching. Hope you like it.